When you look up at the night sky, apart from the glare and the obstructions created by the hustle and bustle of the city, there is one thing which is omnipresent. One that no matter where in the world you go, you see it in the night sky, illuminating the world below with a splendor matched only by the sun itself. Good morning everyone. I am Akshat J. Gopal of Class 9B and I am here to give a small talk about our moon. Mankind's fascination with the moon seems to have increased the more we have come to know about it. The first ever recorded information about the moon was a cave painting done over 15,000 years ago in France when man's greatest achievement on land was domesticating the pig. This shows the wonder and spectacle that the moon was to our caveman ancestors. Gradually, the fascination with the moon's nature declined and the fascination with its mysticism started to increase, especially during the Greco-Roman period, where cultures around the world started to associate different names, titles, powers and gods for the moon. The Greeks had Artemis, we had Chandradeva, the Egyptians had Khonsu and so many more. In 1610, an Italian man named Galileo Galilei changed the way we observe the moon. He started to observe the moon in a purely scientific and logical manner. Along with his telescope, which he had invented by the way, he started to observe the moon. Thus, he is rightly known as the father of modern astronomy. In the same century, Sir Isaac Newton started to discover the gravitational forces acting between bodies. And this proved that the moon was not just a floating disk in the vast background of our starry night sky but an object in constant revolution around the earth. In the mid 18th to 19th century, when the scientific temper of the world began to shift and we started to understand more about our universe and our place in it, humans' fascination and desire to put a man on the moon started to increase. H.G. Wells' Man on the Moon was one such literary artifact which kindled the imagination of readers in the early 20th century. After the world wars came the Cold War between the United States of America and the Soviet Union. Each country wanted to technologically and militarily dominate one another, with the battleground being space and space exploration and the ultimate aim being a moon landing. The Soviets had won all their previous battles. They had put the first ever living being into orbit. Laika the dog, they had put the first man and woman into space, Yuri Gagarin and Valentina Tereshkova. They had even put the first unmanned satellite on the moon, Luna 1. The US were hard pressed to find an answer to their Russian counterparts. President John F. Kennedy in 1962 promised that they would put an American man on the moon within 1970. And true to his word, on 20th of July 1969, at 12.50 am, Pacific Standard Time, Mission Commander Neil Armstrong stepped out of the lunar module and uttered the words, that's one small step for a man and one giant leap for mankind. And the rest, as they say, is history. Now, you may wonder, why the sudden history lesson on the moon? Well, in the last 50 years, there have been more scientific innovations and discoveries than the entirety of human history combined. The legacy of greats like Albert Einstein, Isaac Newton and Galileo Galilei is unparalleled and we the NGPians as the next generation of astronomers, engineers, scientists and entrepreneurs would like to carry forward that legacy. And thus, we are taking part in an event organized by NASA called Observe the Moon and we are taking part in a competition of the same called Astronomical League Observing Challenge. We plan to get together on one of the nights on the second week of November where we, we are going to observe the moon and document its various physical features. We will get back to you later with more information and details regarding our first ever meeting with the wonderful, omnipresent, mystical and beautiful neighbour that is our moon. So signing off, thank you.